Fun Orange, more popularly known as the Smooth Mouse Aim Guy, created his own keypad for Osu, but with a whopping $60 price tag attached, is it worth it? Well, I decided to buy one, so let's find out. Keypads have been growing increasingly popular within the Osu community. Whether it's upgrading from a membrane keyboard or for being able to test out different switches, these little devices are slowly becoming more and more of a hot commodity. Because of that, we've seen multiple new products pop up to take advantage of this trend, some being outright garbage. The latest entry into this keypad craze is from a well-known player and content creator, Fun Orange. This keypad offers something we haven't seen before, offering a large variety of included switches and even alternate profile keycaps. With the amount included accessories, saying this product is simply a keypad doesn't do it enough justice. It's more of a keypad kit, pseudo switch tester thingy. Inside each kit there is 11 different kinds of switches, 2 pairs of different keycap profiles, a good quality switch puller, a 90 degree USB-C cable, and even some extra sticky tape. The keypad itself is fairly well built, with an aluminum top plate, translucent diffusion layer for lighting, a 3D bottom case, a 5-pin hot swappable PCB, which I believe uses Kale hot swap sockets, and a fairly tactile side button. It's also fairly thinner in height compared to other keypads. Obviously, the main selling point of this keypad is the multiple different switches that are included. There's a surprisingly good mix of variety here, a wide range of differing actuation types, actuation forces, and actuation distances. A well-balanced selection that seems tailored for OSU players specifically. Going back to the original question, is this worth $60? To answer that, I compared the Fun Orange keypad to two of the most popular keypads on the market today, the SimPad 2, and the one I personally own, the Seobot O2C. But before that, I wanted to quickly say sorry for being so inactive. I've been pretty busy IRL, mostly with work, but I'm hoping to be more active this year in 2023. Thanks for your continued support, and with that, let's get back into the video. I'll start off with the similarities first, then move on to the differences. All three of these keypads are 1000Hz USB-C, they have RGB, and are hot swappable. Although that last point comes with a slight caveat, being that the Sailbot only supports 3 pin switches and has non-standard hot swap sockets. Both the Fun Orange and Simpad use Kale style hot swap sockets which are more widely known. All three come with a USB-C cable, however both the SimPad and Fun Orange keypad cables are 3 feet in length compared to the Sailbot's 6 feet. Finally, all three have software which allows you to change key bindings, debounce, and lighting, but in terms of usability, the Sailbot one is kinda awful. The other two are really good, but I think I would give the edge slightly to Fun Orange just because it is a little bit more intuitive to use. Onto the differences, the SimPad and Sailbot do not come with any extra switches, besides the included cherry reds. Also, both are quite a bit thicker than the Fun Orange keypad. Moreover, the Fun Orange keypad is the only one to come with extra keycaps. One very strange thing about the SimPad is that the two switches are a little bit farther apart than normal, whereas both the, the Sailbot and Fun Orange are normal distances. Finally, the price. The price is the biggest difference here with the Sailbot being the least expensive at 25 USD, SimPad at 32 USD, and the Fun Orange keypad coming at 60 USD. My personal preference is that the Fun Orange keypad is the best quality in stock keypad you can get currently. With that being said, I don't think it's the best value for your buck, as you can buy extra switches for quite cheap. However, Front Orange gives you the convenience of buying everything in one kit with one purchase. I would really like to see a base version of this keypad coming with only one set of included switches at maybe a reduced price of 40 to 45 USD. Then you could sell the additional switches as an optional add-on for around 15 USD. This is something that Momokai, the company behind the SimPad, actually already does. This strategy of selling a base kit, an optional switch pack, is something I really hope to see in the future since I do believe the Fun Orange keypad itself is the highest quality keypad we've seen and would be an easy recommendation if it was only slightly more expensive than the other keypads and not like double the price. Overall, it's hard for me to recommend the Fun Orange keypad unless you're specifically looking for a keypad and you're looking to experiment with different switches. If you are, then great, this is the best keypad on the market today with a well created variety of switches to test out. But for that price, you could get an entire 60% hot swappable keyboard for less. Or you could buy a keypad and switches separately from one of the other vendors. 
I hope I'm not coming across too harsh here. I really do love this product and how cool it is for someone in our community to make such a product. But the competition for the keypad keyboard space is quite intense, especially the last few years. Anyways, what do you guys think? Are you interested in the front orange keypad? Leave a comment below letting me know. Anyways, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry for not posting in a while. Things have been pretty busy in real life, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.